Have you ever watched one of those nature shows where they show those squirmy, slimy octopods creeping along the bottom of the ocean and said to yourself, hey, I'd like to eat one of those. Yeah, I haven't done that either. But here I am. This is Rocky Nichols' Funny Guy Food Reviews. And that's kind of what I do. Find weird, strange things that nobody would really want to eat and then eat them. Today, Papa's Giant Calamari. Now, if you look right there at the picture, calamari is pieces of squid or octopods. Octopods are eight-legged creatures. Octo meaning eight and pod meaning leg. It's kind of like the tripod that you use to hold your camera. Tri means three and pod means leg. Tripod, octopod. Now, this will be interesting. I like that it comes in a box, like usual. I'm always impressed with that. Now, the ingredients. It says cephalopod. Hmm, cephalopod, that means head foot. Ceph means head and pod means foot. So it's an eight-legged head-carrying pod with tentacles. Oh, cephalopod tentacles, nice. Gives the Latin name, Docidicus gigas. Vegetable oil, so soybean, sunflower oil, natural garlic extract, salt, polyphosphates. Hmm. And here's a warning, contains shellfish, in parentheses, squid. While squid aren't shellfish. Manufactured in a facility that produces allergen, crustacean, shellfish, and or fish. Hmm. It's wild caught, no kidding. Imported from Spain. I thought there was some other stuff. Oh, after opening, refrigerate contents in a proper glass or plastic container. No problem. If we don't finish it, it goes out to the raccoons. Let's open a box and see what kind of tin is inside. Oh, sweet. It's the oval kind. I expected to have a square one to match the box, but this is an oval kind. Very nice and clean. The due date. Let's check that out. Best before January 12, 2022. That gives us like three years, so this should be really fresh. The usual precautions, paper plate, plastic utensils, absorbent and towel, plastic bag to throw it all away, and my usual substrate, saltine crackers. And today, since this is such a new thing that I'm eating, I've got a backup plan. In case the saltines don't work, I'm gonna try it on graham crackers. Won't that be a treat? Now, let's see how it opens up. Nice, smooth crack open there, as you can see. No oil oozing out. Takes quite some effort to pull this top off. I better put it on a firmer foundation. Hmm. Let's discard the top immediately. Now being unfamiliar with squid pieces, let me take a whiff. Hmm. A much more foreign odor than I'm used to. Somewhat sardine-like. A little bit wilder tone. And the oil is rather thin. I'm going to drain some of that oil off into the bag. Nice job. Got more of it on my hand than I got in the bag. There. Now you can take a good, safe look at it. Those are pieces of octopod legs. Definitely. A different smell.
doesn't look like any suction cup devices that are easily distinguishable, but I know they're there. Doesn't really smell like a fish. And it falls apart. Can't get it off the fork. That's pretty firm stuff. Maybe we need to start over. All right, let's lift one out. Lay it on top of the cracker. Sorry about all the uh, background noises. I live in the neighborhood of background noises. Always something going on around here. There. Three choice test pieces. One last whiff. Here we go. Hmm. Wow. Surprisingly good. If you've ever had mussels or What's those other clams? Clams. Tastes a lot like that. Very mild, not at all fishy. Extremely pleasant taste. So much so I can do without the cracker. I'll try one just piece of rubber on its own. Hmm. That is borderline fantastic. You know it's so good, I'm going to see what happens on a graham cracker. As you know, graham crackers have a little bit of sweetness added. There's a big falcon chunk. That's great. First of all, you got this rather pleasantly flavored meat accented with a sweet graham cracker. I think the graham crackers are actually the way to go. Here, that looks like kind of a tentacle looking thing. And now you can better see the remnants that are in the can. They are definitely rubber-like. Not to the extent of non-penetration, but it's actually rubber-like. I can't describe the smell. It's not bad. Definitely different. Not foul. Let's say uh, exotic. Exotic sea-like odor. It's the same sensation you get when you walk into one of those sea aquariums down in Florida or California or in the tropics. You get overcome by that ocean water smell. There is a definite hint of ocean water smell here. Hmm. Well, a definite thumbs up on this. Giant calamari and garlic sauce. I can hardly taste the garlic, but the calamari, tentacles, squid pieces, whatever they may be, give them a try. Really good stuff. Thanks for watching.